today's tech tip is how to use Google Maps to measure distance. So hop out to Google Maps. You can get there at this web address. To make my picture a little easier to see, I'm going to flick over to the satellite view. And you can see here's the high school, here's our middle school, elementary school. Now my question is, how far is it from the center of the A-wing at the high school to the front door of the middle school? How long is that line? Well, Google Maps will actually measure that for you. So if you point to the starting location and right click, and when you uh, get the little drop down menu, select measure distance. Then you click at the other end of the distance you want to measure, and Google tells you this particular distance, 2,226.46 feet. Now, how accurate is that? Well, let's go to a place where we actually have uh, calibration marks right on, on the ground. We know that the football field is 300 feet long. So let's do the same thing. Let's start at the goal line. Let's go to the other goal line. And the resolution of this isn't perfect, so it's hard to get the little circle centered right on the line. But this tells me 300.1 feet. So I'm within an inch and a half of this distance. Now I can continue around. If I click across the field, back down the other side line, and then finish up by putting the circle right over uh, the original circle, I, I create a, a rectangle. And in addition to tell me that this is 919.1 feet, now technically it should be 920.0, so we're within a foot, but it also tells me the area of the shape that I've drawn. So you can not only measure distance, you can measure the area inside of closed objects that you draw. Let's go to the other side of the high school where our jogging track is, and I can measure the distance around the jogging track. If I need to scroll, I just click on the screen and drag and continue to measure right down until I go all the way around the track. It tells me that it's 4,967.62 feet. I asked Mr. Quizno, he said they measured this with the, the little measuring wheel, and it was uh, 4,965 feet. So within two and a half feet uh, of a distance that's almost a mile. Now, the difference is it took me about 30 seconds to measure it. it took them about 30 minutes. Now, we have enclosed to make a, a shape, even though it's not really a square or a rectangle. It's kind of an amoeba-looking thing. If you ever want to tell your students, uh, show them something that is one million, the area that this encloses is slightly more than one million square feet. So there's a way to measure distance and area within Google Maps.